Greetings, family, faculty, and friends, and welcome to the ceremony honoring the Mastery Charter Thomas Campus Class of 2021. <laughs> My name is Jameer Farrar, a member of the Class of 2021 and your MC. And now to start this ceremony with some flavor, our class voted which student they wanted to deliver a welcome message. So please welcome Jayana China. Ooh, child, it's a little hot. It's a little hot. It's a little hot. Sorry, sorry. All right. <clears throat> All right. Good evening, loved ones and guests. When I was asked to give a welcome message, I immediately knew what I wanted to do, write a poem. Poetry grounds me and inspires me, and I hope to share these feelings with you today. I call this poem 2021. <clears throat> a long journey, a journey that felt like forever, forever seemed so far. Life was just anonymous. Class of 2021, here we are, kings and queens. We are here, we are finally finished. The challenges, the challenges that made us stronger, Stronger is what we have became. Class of 2021, the battles, the battles we faced, the battles we overcame. Life once was just anonymous, but our, life are, but our lives are just starting, starting in our own path, path to our own greatness. Class of 2021, we did it, y'all! I am pleased to welcome to this stage the principal at Mastery Thomas, Mr. Peter Lanyard. Good evening, honored guests, families, Thomas staff members, and the remarkable class of 2021. I am honored to be part of your graduation ceremony today. Families, thank you for your support of your students during this incredibly difficult time. I know that none of us planned on having to juggle work, life, a pandemic, virtual learning, and rain on graduation day, but we did it. Class of 2021 and families, you inspire me. Thank you. I am now excited to introduce this evening's student speaker. Like Jayana, Andrew was voted by his peers for this distinguished role. Welcome, Andrew Walker. A diamond cannot form without pressure. Again, I say, a diamond cannot form without pressure. Good afternoon, family, friends, staff, and of course, my 2021 legends. <laughs> you know, I'm grateful to be up here today. As told, my name is Andrew Walker, and here's my little spiel. You know, to the class of 2021, we did it, y'all. Throughout, <laughs> and we survived COVID. We survived the rain, the thunder, the lightning, and look at us here today, getting ready to take our diplomas and going with our separate journeys. You know, we've been through a lot of hardship this year. It's been a lot of struggle, a lot of pain, you know, a lot of effort, a lot of grunt, blood, sweat, and tears. But it all, you know, ends down to this moment. It all ends down to us being victorious at the end of the day. Through the rain, through the clouds, through the lightning, through the thunder, we may remain victorious. You know, it feels like just yesterday, we were in classrooms and we got Cameron taking his shoes off in every class he could <laughs> or charging his phone or even asking any question that came to his mind in every class. Or we have Talia whether it be first period or the period right after lunch, with a bag of food and never wanted to throw it away or take it to our lockers, wanted to finish it in class almost every day. 
Oh, we want to talk about Jameer wearing that fur. He was in a nice little science class, biology class. And he decided to wear fur from a fox, I think, and take pictures with it and had that up on his profile picture for the next, like, what, three weeks? Or just the lunchroom talks that we all have. Each lunchroom conversation was individual, but it made us who we are. You know, and it's all these memories that we need to hold close to our, hold close to our hearts. So as we leave out the center and pursue our post-secondaries, whether that be a trade school or four-year university, Lincoln University, military, or even chasing that bag and going straight to the workforce, let's hold these memories close because these are what made us who we are today. So for one final time as high schoolers, it's peace and blessings, blessings and peace, we're the 2021 legends, and we are who we choose to be. Thank you. <laughs> Hell, y'all thought I was leaving. <laughs> Please welcome the 10th grade internship coordinator, Detroit Lopez, and 11th grade post-secondary advisor, Lily Curcio, to read the names of our graduates. And please welcome Mr. Davis and Mr. Rim to assist. So I am not 10th grade internship coordinator Dietra Lopez. Uh, I am Chris, 12th grade advisor Horn. Give us one moment while we get set up. This will be when we give out the diplomas. Give us one moment. Uh, seniors, how this is going to work really quickly, just so everyone's super clear. I don't know if you guys know, but we had to do a lot on the fly today. So I just got to explain a little bit of instruction so this goes really smoothly. So seniors, one row at a time, you'll all stand up and you're going to walk to your left to exit the row and then come to the front of the podium where you're going to get your diploma over here from Mr. Langer. Wave to the audience, you know, get your pictures, get your time. And then go back to your row from your right and head back to your seat. Remain standing until your row is complete 
and you can look to Ms. Shanti or Mr. Stunden to tell you when your row is up or when you're going to sit down. You guys ready to graduate? Yeah. And now, the moment you have all been waiting for. First row, please rise. And make your way to the front of the podium. Yep, kind of snake around like that. Great, great. And now pause where you are. Pause right there. Am I reading the first row? Yep. Trudy Chung. Bella Jevinson. Antonia Adame Sandoval. Marco Aliu. Clarissa Alvarez. Waddell Baker. Sophia Kane. Miliana Che. Jayana China. Malone Cray. Heaven Cologne. Savannah Colson, Michelle Convento, Alexis Koyamatsi, Natalyn Cruz Castaneda, Alana Darrison. Jasir Dash. Antoine Davis. Marquita Davis. Denise Duan. Rose E. <laughs> Ricardo Esquivel. <laughs> Jameer Farrar. <laughs> Byron Fleming. <laughs> Luis Flores. Elise Foster. Shania Griggs. Nicholas Hall. Zymir James. Moyero Holman. Marielle Rodriguez. Jameer Johnson. Third row, please rise, exit your row to the left and come up to the podium. Trinity Johnson. Heather Jones. Kiara 
Sarah Jones. Kair Jones. Hakeem Kent. Nasir Kent. Lena Cotanone. Steven Lineman. Reggie Lynch. Nakaya Mackey. That's not Marquand. Hazim Martin. Nikes McMillan. Jennifer Hernandez. Basima Minnis. Alexander Mondragon. Tony Morales. Abraham Moreno. Brahim Mosley. Tony Neff. Kelvin Nugen. Kabir Oglesby Hicks. <laughs> Dulce Pedraza. Lizbeth Perez Koyamatsi. Kani Finizzi. Jose Mauricio Popoca Jimenez. Luis Alfredo Ramos Sandre. Layla Ray Gillard. Next row, please stand and make your way to the left of your row. Maya Razik. Robert Reed. Elvia Reyes Reyes. Yanaja Reynolds. Kaisim Richardson. Donovan Roadcloud. Yuritsi Rodriguez Zarco. Marlene Rojas. Kiara Ross. Salia Rothmiller. Ryan Soleil. Kitana Santos. Christian Santoso. Victor Santuario Telez. Lair Say. Raheem Shabazz. Leah Sills. Yasir Smith. Edgar.
Edgar Soto. Brian Srang. John Tu Stansberry. Nassim Starks. Alasia Stowe. Tommy Tran. Kimberly Troy. Yane Turner. Talia Upshur. Melody Valentin. Ricardo Valera Orozco. Andrew Walker. Stephen Walker. Zania Walker. Cameron Walters. Cena Ward. Antique Williams Winchester. Julia Yunin. Vicky Zhao. May Zhang. And Chanel Zarella. Let's give it up one more time for the class of 2021! Let's do that one more time. Can we hear it for the class of 2021? So we got that part out of the way, even if it lightnings, we're good, but I think we're in the clear. So we want to make sure we include as much of this graduation as we can. So the next thing we have up is some scholarships. So we will now take this time to recognize the seniors who will be receiving scholarships. So please welcome Mr. Brian Lack, Mr. Josh Beers, Ms. Cece Thompson to the stage to present this evening's scholarships. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, honorable guests. Uh, before I even start, uh, can we just give a warm, warm round of applause to the class of 2021? <laughs> My name is Brian Lack. Um, I am a graduate of Mastery Charter Thomas Campus, class of 2016. Um, I attended Franklin and Marshall College uh, during my undergrad, and this year was my first year coming back to Thomas, being able to work with our love. Um, I want to start off by saying that I am so proud of each and every single one of you. This year, this year from the very start, orientation on Zoom, not knowing anything about Nearpod, Schoology, any of that, to the very end, to today. It has been an historic year. Um, and I want, you to, I want you to know that as an alumni, none of this gets 
easier as you transition on from mastery. But with the proper resources, we can make sure that our students become the revolutionaries that they are destined to be. So with this year, um, I want to present two scholarships to two students. Um, not only am I presenting a $250 book scholarship um, for our students, but I am also offering um, mentorship for their first year of uh, college. So with that being said, two scholars that I've been able to work with this year, um, I am inspired by their journeys and being able to work with them has been amazing. So could we please, please give it up to our, the recipients of the 2021 Brian Lack Scholarship, uh, Kitana Santos and Ryan Soleil. Thank you, everyone. And up next, I believe, is this man right here. And some, here we go. Thank you, Mr. Lag. OK. The mission award is given to one student who embodies the mission and code of the school. The student who receives this award is at mastery to learn and achieve has always come to school with a clear mind and healthy body, takes responsibility for their actions, and contributes to a cooperative learning environment. They truly make our school shine. The Mission Award is accompanied by a $500 scholarship. The Board of Directors Mission Award recipient is Jayana China. Stand right here for a second. Stand right here for a second. Jayana, your curiosity, enthusiasm, insightfulness, and dedication to classes and clubs. And dedication to classes and clubs are an inspiration to staff and students alike, Jay. Thank you for demonstrating positive influence in our community throughout your time at Thomas High School. We are all incredibly proud of you. Congratulations, Ms. China.
there is a second recipient for this $1,000 reward. And this second recipient will be Jasir Dash. <laughs> Jasir, your constant, thoughtful, and encouraging contributions to school, culture, and instruction have led to invaluable improvements for the student body. Thank you for working and advocating on behalf of your peers throughout your time at Thomas High School. We are an incredibly better community because of you. Congratulations, Mr. Dash. introduce the keynote speaker for this evening. Each year, Thomas seniors vote for a teacher to speak during graduation. They tend to choose teachers who made a significant impact on their lives, and this year is no different. This person taught the seniors in both ninth and 12th grade and holds a special place in their hearts. I give you Mr. Beard. Okay, okay, thank you. I appreciate you having me address you graduates. I am deeply honored. Wow, isn't this something? Uh, a little rain's not gonna hold back these guys at all. I know it's a little cloudy, but talk about a beautiful venue to celebrate such a beautiful event. Give it up once again for the class of 2021, everybody. There's something very special about gatherings like this. For many of us, it's been a long time since we have had the ability to celebrate important occasions as a larger group, as a community, as a collective. It's powerful. We are united in our investment and revelry. We are eager to praise the accomplishments of those we know and care for, but also through our cheers and through our claps, we celebrate collective accomplishment. And yet the path here to this moment to this occasion was not an easy one for any of us, especially recently. This past year and months alone have provided numerous unique challenges and circumstances requiring our best efforts, our best character, and our best abilities. With genuine awe and admiration, I stand here today, graduates, and I attest that you have met those challenges. It has been said that without true challenge, there they cannot be true accomplishment. And if that's the case, you have accomplished high school many times over. We should probably give you a second diploma just for virtual schooling alone. Everybody's on that one. But it's not simply a mastery of courses and content that you have achieved. Yes, you have tackled the tests. Yes, you've ruminated on the readings. But this year in particular, we bore witness to your capabilities far beyond the classroom gr graduates. This moment is a celebration of all you are as students, but also all you are as people. The kinds of people who have been caretakers for younger siblings, ensuring they are fed and focused for their own long days of school. The kinds of people who work shifts and double shifts despite long hours and all too often short rest. The kinds of people who have been activists and advocates for all those facing injustice and imparity. The kinds of people who have been tutors and part-time therapists, waking up early and staying up late to calm, comfort, and console friends and family alike. I saw it, we saw it, and I know we're all inspired by it, graduates. May these actions remind you of the limitless potential you possess, for there are countless challenges ahead no matter what path you choose for yourselves. But it's not the challenges we should fear, but the urge to shirk from them. Each of us must wrestle with our own potential, pushing ourselves to be the very best we can be. And this is the hardest task of all. One of the greatest tragedies in life is that many do not meet what they are capable of failing to realize that incredible potential demands incredible effort. All too often we become afraid of what we can be 
because it requires us to work very hard on who we are. Don't be afraid to accept the high standard of who you can be. Many governments, corporations, and even schools are working very hard to convince you to lower your expectations for yourselves. I ask you to reject the lie that you are not capable of incredible things and incredible results. Each of you has something uniquely important to contribute to the world, and you must hold yourself accountable to ensure you do just that. Will there be setbacks? Of course. How else will you know you've been challenged? But momentary letdowns with honest effort are actually just the precursors to success itself. You owe it to yourself to honor what you are capable of. Pushing through the obstacles, through the hardships, through the difficulty are acts of self-love and self-respect in their own right. Don't shy away from the hurdles, class of 2021. Embrace them. Fulfilling your promise depends on it. And if that seems like a lot, don't feel like you have to face those hurdles alone. You don't. This very crowd is a testament to those who have faced their own challenges to be a source of time, energy, and love and life for you. Take a look around, graduates. See if you can see them. They're the moms, the dads, the granddads, the grandmoms, yeah, the granddads, yeah. <laughs> the uncles, the aunts, yeah, and the aunties. The brothers, the sisters, the cousins, the friends, the teachers, the principals, and the counselors, and everyone in between. They are the people who have faced their own hurdles to be the best they can be for you. Indebted to those whose care and guidance have helped us along the way. I hope your future efforts stand as a tribute to the efforts of those who stand with you today, class of 2021, because we can't wait to see the paths you choose, the heights your talents and drives will take you to. Your unrivaled potential will afford you with unrivaled choices. Please elect endeavors where your success means our success. Just as others have invested in you, invest in the well-being of others. No matter the career, no matter the vocation, no matter the life path, build for other people the opportunities that have been built for you. Yes, you need your nimble mind, but pair it with a noble heart. In a society marked with violence, racism, cheating, and thievery, to be a good person of strong character is in and of itself a revolutionary act. What good is your knowledge and wisdom if it leads to fame and fortune for you alone? We don't just need doctors, lawyers, businessmen, and congressmen. We need charitable doctors, honest lawyers, ethical businessmen, and integritist congresswomen. Be both proficient and principled in all that you do, class of 2021. The existentialist author Albert Camus, AP Lit students, you're familiar, is credited for having once said, the only way to deal with an unfree world is to become so absolutely free that your very existence is an act of rebellion. Graduates, I hope that by walking across this stage, it represented not simply a freedom from the work, routines, and structures of your high school career, but that it marked a freedom to embrace opportunities, to challenge oppression, and create lasting positive outcomes for a world in desperate need of liberators. And who better to do it than you, class of 2021? I know you can do it because I've seen you handle every challenge from ninth grade to 12th grade to waiting in the rain just to graduate right now. Good luck, Godspeed, we're all rooting for you. The class of 2021, everybody. And to close out. New Cuban! New
We'll save the shuffle for one minute. <laughs> um, which to now to close out, it's my, I'm, it's my pleasure to welcome to the stage a member of our own Thomas family and a proud mother of one of our graduates, Byron, the wonderful Miss Fleming. Before I hand it over to Mr. Langer for the conferring of the degrees, I just want to speak very and real quickly to you. First, all of the parents, because I'm one, right? And we're full of excitement. Stand to your feet and give your graduates a round of applause. Now, while you are applauding, we want to thank uh, Mrs. Brittany Davis and Mrs. Taylor Van Auken for the beautiful decorations in spite of the rain. They were out here decorating for our graduating class. Now we have some instructions and some protocols as we are about to dismiss. And it's very important that you listen to me. So if I can have your undivided attention. Okay. So what we need is parents, we need your help. Because the kids are going to exit off of the stage and they're going to meet you in the parking lot. But we don't want you to move yet. Y'all heard me? All right. Woo -woo. So now, here's how we're going to handle dismissal. As a proud parent of a graduate myself, hi Byron, congratulations. I know how important it is to get reunited with your students. So as we are dismissing, the students are going to dismiss from the far left, but we do have something special that we want to do with you. So all of the parents that are in this aisle right here, we're going to need you to move from, this, from that gate and find a seat inside. We need that whole left aisle clear. I appreciate if you all would just remain in your seat as I introduce our principal of the Thomas Mastery High School. Put your Graduates. Graduates, please stand. Now, please, please make sure your tassel is on the right side of your cap. And as principal of the Thomas campus, I certify that these students have met the requirements set forth by Mastery Charter Schools. Please move your tassels from right to left. I hereby declare the class of 2021 to be graduates of Mastery Charter Thomas Campus. Congratulations. And you may exit. Somebody go. Ahead. I just let the music come from my 
gon' show you how it go. No, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. Yeah, kick, yeah, kick, yeah, kick, yeah, kick. Now walk it by yourself. Now walk it by yourself. Let me see you do. Now walk it by yourself. 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 Now